This is your upper body workout. You're gonna need a set of weights, but if you don't have weights, you can go ahead and use some water bottles instead. Let's go ahead and work the upper body. We're gonna start with a simple raise. Feet are shoulders width apart. You're gonna raise your weights up to the front for shoulder height and back down to the thighs and then turn them out to the side and back down. So always just going up to shoulder height. You don't wanna go any higher than that because you wanna keep the muscles activated in the right position. Always a slight bend in the knee, a nice tight core. It's all about form and it's all about control. We're not gonna let gravity do the work. We're gonna make your upper body do the work through this whole workout. Great job, go ahead and put your weights down. Active recovery, just a little jab forward right here. Just a nice relaxed stance. We're just gonna keep the arms moving, keep the blood flowing. Go ahead, pick your weights back up. Our next move is a bent over fly. So this time you're gonna bend at the knees, you're gonna hinge at the hips, weights are in front of you. You're gonna go ahead and lift the weights out to the side but you're gonna make sure that you keep your eyes looking just straight out in front of you to make sure you keep a nice neck position and make sure that you're working those right muscles. Again, gravity is not doing the work. You're doing the work on the way up and you're doing the work by controlling the weights on the way down. Keep it going. Go ahead, put your weights down. Active recovery. Go ahead and pick up your weights. Nice, slow and controlled exercise. You're gonna curl, you're gonna go out to the side, back to the middle and lower back down. Working the biceps and then retracting those arms out. Always controlled on the way up and controlled on the way down. As you pull the weights apart, it's a very subtle movement, just really slow. Go ahead, put your weights down and go back into that active recovery. Nice and easy jab. Remember, if you wanna rest during the recovery, you can do that, that's okay. Or you can hydrate yourself, sipping from a bottle. Keep it going. Time to work the backs of the arms now. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna pick up your weights. Slight bend in the knees. Elbows are into your sides. You're gonna drive the weights back, come in, and then palms change position. So you're gonna go back, palms down. Triceps two ways, palms down. Great job, keep it going. Always controlled, never letting momentum just swing your arms. Place your weights down. Let's go back to that jab. Enjoy your recovery. Go ahead, pick your weights back up. This time, you're gonna lean over to one side and pull it back down. Stretch over and pull down. Reach with the weight and let your back muscles drive that weight back down. Very subtle reach. Slight sumo position with your lower body. Now you're working your core and your back.
Weights go down into the jab. Here we go, upper body power round. Every exercise, one after the other, no rest for you. Pick up your weight, first exercise, front raise, side raise. Only to shoulder height. Into position, bent knees, flex at the hips, arms out to the side. Time to work the guns. Up, out, in and down. Triceps two ways. Feet are together, arms into the side. Palms to the floor, palms to the body, palms to the floor. Over to the side now. Reach over and back down. Slight sumo position. Reaching over and pulling it down. Great job. Upper body workout is over. Make sure you have some recovery nutrition.